Thinking about curriculum involves um, several different dimensions. Um, first of all, there is no magic curriculum, no perfect curriculum that solves every problem or that works in every context. Curriculum writers imagine subject matter being brought together with methods of instruction for certain learners in particular contexts. And um, that has limits built into it because no curriculum writer could imagine every context and every kind of learner. So um, all curriculum has to be adapted to particular contexts with particular groups of learners. And um, to think about effective curriculum, one has to also think about the aims of education, um, the subject matter, the roles of the teacher and the learner, and the context. Those are the five elements uh, that together make up effective education and formation. So uh, effective curriculum serves particular goals and aims for particular kinds of learners and uh, ideally involves several different kinds of ways of encountering subject matter. Uh, and different subject matter calls for different kinds of curriculum. So those are kind of abstract kinds of things, but uh, key for thinking through uh, what is effective curriculum. I would say there are a number of questions to ask that are absolutely crucial, like what is the biblical perspective at work in this curriculum? What are the theological assumptions and the ecclesial assumptions at work? <clears throat> uh, also, one would want to ask about assumptions that are made about the learners and who they are, what they're capable of, what their prior knowledge is, and um, what provisions are made for adapting the curriculum into a particular context. Good curricula have a well-designed plan that serve particular goals, have a variety of methods of instruction, and have a number of suggestions for how to adapt materials to a particular context.